There are plenty of organizations out there that don't like collectivism, they don't like being pushed around, they don't like what's happening in the country today, but their total focus is on let's get rid of these bad people that are doing that. And that's it. They never think about, well, who we're going to replace them with? And what will they think? What principles will they bring? And that's why we go from Republican to Democrat and Democrat to Republican. Everybody voting in the election is voting not for somebody but against somebody. The elections for many years have not been pro-candidate but anti-candidate. The reason Obama got elected is because everybody hated Bush. And now the next Republican that gets elected is not because he's a good guy, but now everybody hates Obama. So they don't vote for anybody, they vote against the guy they don't like, not realizing that it's not the person, it's the system. It's the system. The system is collectivism. And as long as it, the system is collectivism, we will never solve the problem. Because, you see, government is like a magnet. When it's big government like ours is, it gives people in that government power over the citizenry. Great power. And that is a magnet that attracts into governments the predator class. People who would normally wind up in jail doing what they want to do if they were in private life, move into government, and now they can do it and they don't go to jail. In fact, they're the ones that put other people into jail. The only reason I support this movement for auditing the Fed, uh, well, two reasons actually. One is that I think it's a means of causing the average American to think twice about the Federal Reserve System. You know, up until now, they've never even thought about it. The Federal Reserve System, what's that? Oh, they make our money. Yeah, oh, that's nice. And so they turn the ball game back on again. And now um, people are saying, let's audit the Fed, audit the Fed. And uh, so more people are saying, well, why does somebody want to audit the Fed? Maybe they're doing something wrong. And so it's planting of an idea into the minds of millions of people that never even suspected that the Fed was possibly in need of an audit or correction or oversight of any kind. So uh, as a strategic move, I have to say I like the idea of a program to audit the Fed. And I think I would applaud Ron Paul for introducing that bill. But I stated in my book, and this was published in 1994, that to me an audit of the Fed would accomplish only uh, a very limited objective. And one was that it would give the American people the false impression that something was being done about it. And I said we would come up with some kind of a phony report or an audit report very similar to the, uh, the Warren Commission report on the JFK assassination or the 9-11 Commission report on uh, the attack on 9-11, both of which were complete whitewashes. They were not really the product of serious investigation at all, in my view. They were complete whitewashes. But everybody thought that, hey, this is the final answer. Why? Because the government investigated itself. <laughs> and how do we change the system? How do we recapture Congress? How do we recapture not just Congress, but all of the power centers of society? Remember we talked about that before. These power centers, the political parties, the labor unions, and all of that. This is how the, the collectivists, both the Rhodesians and the Leninists, they have always gone for the strategy of capturing control of the power centers of society. And we haven't understood what they've been doing all these years, mainly because uh, most of us have been laid back. We don't want to control other people. We don't want power. We just want to be left alone, have fun, and you know, do the best we can for our family and so forth. We don't want to run the world, but the collectivists do. They definitely do, and so they give a lot of thought and time to, to structures and strategies for running the world while we don't think about it. We don't want anything to do with it, which is why we've been losing. It's not that they're smarter than we are. It's that they're more realistic, more practical than we are, and they're dedicated. Boy, are they ever dedicated. So I thought about all of that, and I said, there's only one way to turn this around if we're going to turn it around at all, and that's to do pretty much the same thing that they have been doing. We have to go into the power centers of the, 
of the world, but we'll start with our own society, and try and become influential in them and swing them over and eventually convert them into power centers that promote individualism and freedom rather than collectivism and tyranny. If we cannot do that, then there's nothing else that I'm aware of that we can do. And we've just finished an entire day of a crash course on money with uh, G. Edward Griffin, and now we're getting ready to give a home away to one of the lucky attendees of the seminar. You're giving a home away? Giving a home away for free, absolutely free, all of our services included. Uh, it's, a, it's a home that they can use, and we're going to try to go sell that home for them and make them a great return. What do you got in your hand? I've got a, a, a list of houses that we're going to give away, uh, of the house we're going to give away, and I've also got all the tickets and, and uh, uh, cards of all the people that could possibly win the property. And they're waiting for their free house. They're waiting for their free house right out here. All right. All right. All right. Y'all ready? Yeah. Is everybody here? Yeah. <laughs> now listen, Ed said that you had to be present to win, right? So if we pull someone's name out and they're not present, if they're in the bathroom, it's going to be a very expensive bathroom break. So let's make sure everybody's in here, okay? Make sure everybody's in here, guys. Make sure that everybody's in. I don't want to. I don't want to hear nothing. We're going to let Ed pick it. My wife is. My wife is in the bathroom, but I'm representing. Uh oh. Uh oh. You got the ticket. You have the ticket. You might have to check your driver's license. Oh, this is right here. She just didn't want to sit by you. See how they. See how they are. So just so you know, they're kind of together like that with cars. So you might want to pick through there. However you want to, shake them up. Pick through there. We're going to let Ed draw the first name. I get to read the names before I yes, now let me tell you what, what we're doing here. We're giving away a house. Actually, it's in, we're giving away a house in Detroit. A couple of days ago, we bought a, a small package of homes uh, in Detroit. Very good homes, and we, uh, we haven't got them inspected yet because we just got them two days ago. So they're brand new, hot off the presses, but we did do some ride-bys and look at them. So this house is at 19420 Bentler Streeter Avenue in Detroit, Michigan. 822 square foot home. So you'll be able to see that information as soon as we get inspected online on myplace.us. So you're going to get the house, you're going to get the lot, you're going to get the land, you're going to get all the taxes and liens and levies and judgments, utilities paid, all of our service, the home inspection, everything included in it, just like if it's 25 grand, okay? $25,000. And when we sell it, remember, for between $250 a month or $500 a month, that's going to net you between $37,000 or $38,075,000. So we, we hopefully oh, that'll happen in the next year or so, all right? All right. <laughs> don't look, don't look. The drum roll, please. Now that I'm asleep, now that I'm asleep. Flip through these things, shuffle them, till I find the one that I put the gum on. <laughs> okay, this looks like a good one here. here there it go. is. All right, here we go. Brent Penn. Brent, Pin H, right here, yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Here you go, man. So we're going to get you this house here at 19420 Bentler Avenue in Detroit, Michigan. Wow. All right. Yeah. Thank you. You're very happy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. You can come visit anytime you want. Congratulations. All right.